So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nob the Day 72. I'm completely pushed and a little bit fucked up. Uh, I'm fucking hell. You can? This is the, this is the, the way to be, really. Why do we do it to ourselves? Why? Why do we get ourselves fucked up? Why? Where's the fucking, where's the enjoyment in this? I feel to see it. I feel to fucking see it. You can? Like, tonight, I went to a local bar, right? And, uh, <laughs> I had the most amazing dance in my entire fucking life. Oh, I got drunk. I had a good time. It was fucking amazing, actually. I had a dance with the barmaid, the barman, the barman's fucking girlfriend, who's a 24 year old doctor or student. She's going to work in the emergency ward fairly soon. And uh, I was talking to her because last time I was in this bar, second last time I was in the bar, 
She asked me to dance, and I thought she was a bit of a stick in the mud, because she seemed quite well to do. Anyway, she asked me to dance, and I never touched her, I never laid a finger on her. I just danced with her, but I gave her my best moves. But I thought, you know, she's a doctor, I'll no touch her, I'll no fuck it. But even though it would be other bird to dance with, I'm rubbing myself up against. And she's obviously seen that several times, so she was, she was probably wanting a bit of that. But I was a gentleman. Because the barman was fucking had his hawk eye on me. But anyway, tonight, I'm talking to her, she's like, why are you sitting outside? Why aren't you inside? And, uh, dancing with me, basically. And the song, Pink Floyd Comfortably Numb, Numb was on. And I said, let's dance to this, let's dance to this. Lots of the dino, it's a fucking 15 minute version, a live version, a 15 minute fucking orgasmic, beyond belief version of Comfortably Numb. So, <laughs> I had this dance, it was fucking amazing. I just want to put this down on record, right? I grabbed this girl, I fucking threw her left, right in the centre, twisting her around. I was grabbing her to my hips, I was fucking moving my hands up and down her body. I was going for it big time. And then she wanted to quit. And I thought it was the end of the song, but I said, no, the song's not finished. So I was shaking her about at this point, and then I decided just to grab her slowly and just get into the guitar solo. And then the guitar solo built up again. And I started shaking her like this, and fucking, oh my god, it was incredible. And then the song finished, and I threw her down and gave her a kiss, because it was fucking amazing. And then I went back outside with the rest of my friends. And she 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 popped outside to give me a cuddle, to, just to say thank you for the dance, because we both knew it was an ultimate experience that will never be fucking better ever. So I grabbed her, I gave her a big squeeze, and I pulled her up, and I gave her a kiss. And it was amazing. I was just like, oh, thanks for that dance. I'm so appreciative. Thank you, God, for allowing FS a bit of a smoke and Pink Floyd to mix so well that it could create those circumstances. And what a fucking, oh. That would stay with me to the day I die. It really will. So anyway, I've come home. I told my wife all about this dance and how fucking much I loved it. Then I had a two hour chat with her laying the ground rules of life. It's funny how you're drinking a bit of a smoke in there, that, to get down the ground rules of life and what, how you perceive the world. And I laid all that down on a fucking plate. I hope she understood where I was coming from. But you came what? And then I just had another smoke and... and you know what my real feelings are? I want to fucking... I want to sober up. I want to just... lose my addictions, but the addictions are fun, you can? The, f the fun I had tonight was... undescribable. But... Where is it getting me? But I want to fucking chill out, you know? I want to chill out in the grand scheme of... trying to make things happen. You just got to do your best, haven't you? Do your best and trust that the Tao, T A O, the Tao, will take you there. And that's what I'm trying to do. So that's my motto for this week: is to let the Tao take me where it needs to take me. I've got a tiny bit of the gear left. I'll smoke that because that's my fucking punishment in this life. And then I'm going to try and sober up for a while and uh, get clean. Try and avoid that fucking place even though I have the best time of my life there. That pub, my local boozer I'm talking about obviously. I need to cut that out. Okay, even the knob needs to fucking sober up. Because let's face it, I'm not going to attract many other birds in this state apart from the barman's fucking girlfriend who loves a bit of a dance with the knob, you can. So that's been my knob today, I guess. It's time to sober up. But I've got a bit left, so I'll be stoned tomorrow. And then I'll sober up, but then I need to go lie down. I need to go lie down, possibly with a sick bucket beside me. And I'm going to play some Van Morrison, because you can't fucking beat man when you're fucked with your... Van the man when you're fucked with your touch, you can. 
So I hope you enjoyed that note of the day. Thanks for listening and stay tuned and I'll see you in the next gen. Bye bye. Hey hey.